Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivor and Spice back at it again with another match reaction. First of all, guys, I'd like to thank you for those who are watching. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and also remember to share because sharing Ivor and Spice is caring. If you want to contribute to the channel, you can always contribute via the link description as well, via PayPal, and always catch me on a live stream. Make sure you press that notification button, guys. But let's get it straight, guys, because I am not in the mood. It is Manchester United 1, Burnley 1, Burnley 1, Manchester United 1. Yes, indeed. Manchester United dropping two points against Burnley. Another draw, back-to-back -back draw so far with Manchester United. Not getting the wins, not, not taking our chances in games that we were clearly the dominant side. And yet again, today is another game where Manchester United fell to win, to, to just capitalise on their chances. And uh, I've had enough of this. Yes, overall, Manchester United in the first half, brilliant first half, so many chances created. Manchester United were winning the first, first balls and also the second balls. Second half, the complete opposite where Burnley came back and did their thing. Manchester United were terrible in the second half and it was a game of two halves. Game of two tells. Yes, the first tell was Manchester United. The second tell was Burnley. So truly, at the end of the day, if you think about it, overall, we probably deserve to draw. But based on the chances, you will say we should have won, but we didn't. First half, Manchester United, performance-wise, again, I thought Manchester United started off slow, guys, which you guys can agree with me. Manchester United started off slow build-up was slow. It was Burnley against Manchester United in the first 10 minutes. After that, out of nowhere, you see men like Varane finally scoring. Manchester United finally scoring from a set piece, only for it to be ruled out by VAR. I was ecstatic. You guys were ecstatic. We was enjoying our moment. But yes, again, VAR took our joy. And VAR took our joy in several opportunities into that game. Again, Manchester United eventually finally getting the lead 1-0 by Paul Labile Pogba. Ah! Brilliant, sexy finish by Labile. A brilliant goal by the rest of the guys as well. Brilliantly built up as well. Bruno Fernandes, brilliant pass. Doing his usual Hollywood passes, you know. Those stunt passes. Yes, those stunt passes. Bruno passing it straight on to Jadon Sancho. Jadon Sancho sorry, not even Jaden Sancho, Marks Rashford himself running towards the position as well because Bruno found a brilliant ball by two Marks Rashford for Marks Rashford to slip in Luke Shaw, Luke Shaw or burst in Luke Shaw for the first time I have seen in a long time because today Luke Shaw actually showed that he was actually on it. I was like, finally, Luke Shaw, where the hell have you been? Because these days you've been on Shaw. Now you show sure that you really want to attack? You sure? You really want to be really sure? And Shaw did that, slipped it, put the ball in, a nice, low, hard-driven cross to Paul Abile Pogba to actually tap that in. Brilliant finish. Excellent finish by Pogba himself. Again, Manchester United got the second goal to make it 2-0. But it was, again, ruled out by VAR, which I thought it was unfair. The first goal that we scored in the set piece, Harry Maguire, I've had enough of you. We'll talk about Harry Maguire. Guys, you let me know what your thoughts on Harry Maguire. But yes, Harry Maguire was a joke. Manchester United making it 2-0 for only for it to be taken away by VAR for Paul Pogba foul, which I thought was unfair. It should have stood. I just didn't understand it because, yet again, Bernie done the same thing, not the same thing, but a similar a nudge on and got away with it. So I, I really don't understand what was the difference between them two. Half time now, Manchester United going into the half time, one nil up, where we thought we should have scored goals. We should have been 3 nil up. Yes, we should be clear, clear of this Burnley team, you know, this but Booze and Fags FC team. This School of Hard Knock. Do you know what I'm trying to say, guys? Yeah, that wasn't the case because the School of Hard Knock actually showed us in the second half where it really mattered. The second half, Manchester United conceding so damn early by Jay Rodriguez. Okay. 
which Maguire, Maguire fault, Maguire is so shit. Maguire is a joke. The way, you know what? It really hurts to watch Harry Maguire defend and run and move the ball and also pass. It's bad on the eye. You know, it's not good for your health. Maguire, just, just, just stop it. I prefer Victor Lindelof and Raphael Varane. Poor Raphael Varane to stand there and play with that slap. And that joke of a defender that costs 80 million. He's, Varane is a player that costs 80 million. This guy costs 40 million. He cost the price of Varane's price transfer fee that he came here. But yep, we can see that goal from Jay Rodriguez and Manchester United from the second half from the goal we can from the time we conceded that goal was shit. Couldn't do anything. Couldn't couldn't do anything for a good 20 minutes until the 70th minute when changes were made. And at that moment there, where we tried to huff and puff and tried to get that goal, it never really happened. For full time, Manchester United drew 1 1, dropping two points. It's a disappointing result again. Yet, time and time again, we're seeing the same performances week in, week out. When are these players going to get to grip? When are these players going to play the actual way and make the right decision? Yet, you can see that it's the wrong decision that these players make in the final first, such as Mark Rashford's decision in the final third. And um, Paul Pogba as well, although he played, had a good game. He held on to the ball so many times, could have given the ball to his up to his players. As well, Bruno Fernandez giving the ball away, not keeping the ball, not being neat and tidy. And that's the most important thing in these games. Trying to be neat and tidy, you know, at a high level, you know. <sighs> it's 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 just weird for Manchester United to drop points again. I don't know what it means. It just means that Manchester United, when it really, 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 really want to get things going. They do it so late, you know. And for the league as well, we don't know if we're going to be finishing fourth. It's a myth. Players today, my opinion, definitely with Paul Pogba, I thought we had a decent game. McTominay had an excellent game until he came off. He was very, very compact, combative as well. Brave on the ball. Got himself everywhere on the pitch. Diego Dalo had an excellent first 45 minutes, then faded off in the second half by making the wrong crosses, the wrong decision. Mark Strasford, Rashford, Crashford, Rashford had a shit game. Had a shit game. Deservedly needed to come off way damn early, guys. Yeah. Kofani, Bruno, another game of Maguire of them all. The worst game, which, which leads me to my man of the match today, guys. Got to go to. McTominay, you may be surprised. Should have been got should I have gone to the goal scorer? Nah, definitely McTominay. I thought he had an excellent game all over the pitch, you know, winning the first balls and also the second balls as well in the first half. And it's going into the second half until he came off. Don't give the match today, guys. Harry Slabed Maguire, I've had enough of him. He's a fraud, he's a joke, you know. He's 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 an example. He's he's what you call 419. If you ask for a definition of 419, forget that it's the Nigerian. Just say Harry Maguire. What do you define 419 as? Harry Maguire, fraud, 80 million. 80 million defender, that's not really 80 million, which probably is 20 million. Fraud star. But guys, this has been your match reaction by Ivory and Spice. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and also remember to share. And also check the link description if you want to contribute to the channel via PayPal. And also check... The link description for your, of course, your accessories, your clothing, your Christian clothing as well from Red Bubble Store. Remember, you can always click on the link for your, for your um, clothing and your catering, and also plus many more your eyewear and Lee eyewear. So, guys, I want to let you know that I've ruined Spice got you, got you on on a fashion, food, and eyewear. You get me. Also, spiritual health. But yeah, as always, guys. Remember to keep it united because I am really going to try to keep it red united. Peace out. I'm out.